Good morning. I hope everyone's having a great day. You know, I'm at the Downriver YMCA in Southgate, Michigan, and we have one of the instructors, Mary Reed, who is loving on Anitra over here. And Anitra was one of the biggest winners for Peter's Principles, and at her heaviest weight, she was 622 pounds. And the most important thing that everyone needs to realize, whatever fitness level you're on right now, if you say you can or can't, you're probably right. But when it comes to Anitra, she wants to get her life back now. This is most definitely a prayer answered. And I want to be able to walk, run, skate, swing, jump. I just want to be able to do everything, everything. I want to just, just live. And this is the perfect opportunity, and I'm going to take full advantage of this. While working with someone like Anitra, who is morbidly obese, we take it step by step. Um, we're in tune with what they can do and work with what they can do rather than what they can't do. We start with simple exercises that are very basic and build from there. The Down River YMCA actually gifted Anitra and her entire family a membership and we greatly appreciate it. But before starting any fitness program, you always need to get an exam by your doctor. Well, the first place to start is to go to your physician's office and get an examination. And the reason for that is that there may be a lot of underlying issues with individuals that may not be apparent to them, but will be apparent to the physician who takes a good history, who does their vital signs, may do some ancillary tests and a good physical exam can show that there might be issues that need to be addressed for that individual. The Peter's principle of the day is quite simple. You need to make sure you get a checkup before starting any fitness program, but you also need to get your hope back. Find your reasons why and you believe again. And when you believe again, you make a commitment with yourself and the man upstairs. And that's what it's all about. Until next week, I'm Peter Nielsen with Peter's Principles.